Hi, this is John. Welcome back to Thomcraft Quick for Thomcraft version 6. In this episode, we're going to work on the improved Ascension Distillation parts 1 and 2. So in part 1, we will make an auxiliary slurry pump. And we're going to need an observation in alchemy and an observation in artifice. So the slurry pump is a way to make the smelting process faster. We'll put an auxiliary slurry pump on the side of the smelter and, and then we will attach a lemmix to it and we will almost double our speed. So that's a great thing to have because the process can be very slow sometimes. All right, now we'll go on to improved ascension distillation part two. And again, an observation in alchemy, observation in artifice. And this will allow us to make auxiliary venting ports. And those allow us to transfer some of the flux that will be generated from the essentia smelting into harmless steam. So again, a great thing to do. So let's look into our venting ports. So we need 130 V for each one. So it's gonna be kind of cutting it close, but we'll see if it will restore. So there's one of them. In the meantime, we're also going to need a, a filtered Essentia tube. And to get that, we put the Essentia tube with Essentia filter to get a filtered Essentia tube. It costs 10V8 with my discount. All right, so we're close to 130 again. So let's work on that second port. All right. And now we can work on the auxiliary slurry pump, which only cost 100. So there we are. We need some great wood planks, brass plates, iron plates, the arcane bellows, and that filtered essentia tube. By the way, if I didn't mention it, the slurry, or sorry, the venting port requires iron plates, brass plates, an alchemical construct, and two essentia filters. Oh yeah, we only need 87V for this because we have a discount. So there we go. Those are our new tools to help us do Essentia smelting easier. So let's see here. I want to start by grabbing my axe and my pickaxe. We're going to take the top two Alembics and we're going to take those down. And we're going to place this slurry pump on the side right here. And we'll put the Alembics on the side as well. Let's see here. That leaves us two more spots. One uh, vent there and one vent there. And now we need to hook up our other Alembics. And let's get our pipes hooked back up. Okay, so that looks fine. Might be nice to not have these two hooked up. Let me see if I can change that from here. There we go. Yeah, that should work. Okay, so yeah, they, they'll both go up and then over. And that's what I want. Okay, perfect. So let's go ahead and put my walls I just broke back. Okay, and let's check out the new speed and abilities of our processing station. So I've got some feathers and some trap doors for a project I'm going to make soon. So let's get to work on that. We've got air and velatus and we've got modus and herba. So I need to get a couple more water jars. Be right back with those. All right, so I've prepped the jar setup. We've got modus and herba from the trap doors, and we've got Velatus and air from the feathers. So a Velatus and one I don't have labeled right now. So let's see how this ends up working. So you can now see that we're doing basically all four at once, which we were never getting before. And sometimes we get the steam out here showing it would have been flux, but we transferred it into steam. Let's go ahead and open up this for Modus. All right, that's working pretty well. And it's a lot faster to break down. And now I'll stick our feathers in there as well. 
and there you go. That is the auxiliary story point uh, port pump and the auxiliary venting ports. So we still get some flux. It's not going to cure it entirely, but uh, it does make it better. And that's what we want to see. All right. Thanks for watching. See you next time.